Render wild cards. I bet you didn't know about these. These wild cards allow you to pull attributes from your project, things like timeline name, render resolution, and project name, and use them as things for the file name and the location. They're really quick, simple, easy to use, and are incredibly useful, especially if you're trying to render one project out for multiple different formats, a 4K version, a 1080p version, and then a version for Instagram, for example. Now this actually comes from a viewer question, so big thanks to Dave H, who asked, when I render all of my separate clips in one go, can I set it to render each file the same name as I label my clip? If so, how? Yes, you can. You use these render wild cards. The clip name is a bit awkward. It doesn't work in exactly the way you think, but overall it does the job. So let's open DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how. So here we are. Now I'm just going to use this first part of this project here. Now if I give each of the clips a click on my timeline, open up the inspector, top right hand corner, and you can see in my name, I've given them all separate names. So we've got test one here, test two, test three. I wasn't very creative with my names, but as you can see, we've got them there. So then we just want to render this section out. So we're gonna to go to the deliver tab. Now, if you've never rendered individual clips before, all you need to do, select your standard preset, whatever you may, use from here, I'm just gonna use 265 master. And then underneath the file name, the location, you've got single file and then individual clips. I'm just gonna click individual clips. Now that button does exactly what it says on the tin. Rather than having one single video as an output, you're gonna have all the different clips on your timeline outputted as their own separate videos. So then we just need to use a wildcard. So in the file name, just to delete anything from in there, and then all you need to do is to put the percentage site and this little drop down will appear. Now there's absolutely loads in here and if I'm honest, 95, 98% of them aren't gonna be very useful for most people, but there are a handful of little gems in here. What I recommend that you do, grab a pen and paper, just use the down arrow key on your keyboard, flick through them, having a look, seeing any that you think will be useful and just making note of them for future use. The ones that I think are worth mentioning, clip name, project name, timeline name, render resolution, and then render codec. Of course, there are others, but that five really great ones to get you going. In this example for Dave, we're just gonna use clip name. So I've put my percentage sign, and then just gonna hit C, L, I, P, and I can narrow it down to clips, and then I'm just gonna find clip name, and there we go. Now under location, you can see I've got this folder, this test folder set up on my desktop. I'm just gonna go to browse, and you can see that it's an empty folder. I'm gonna cancel that. What I'm gonna do here, go test, I'll then do a backslash, I'll do my percentage sign, and I want it to create a folder that's the same as my project name. So I'm just gonna type project, I've got project name, perfect. I can then just add this to the render queue. And then if we look in the render queue, you can see we've got this project name set up as the location. So then I'm just gonna hit render all as I usually would. Boom, done. Now if I'm just gonna open that folder, so you can just right click on here and go open file location for a quick way of opening that. And as you can see, in the test folder, we've now got news 8th of November because that's the name of the project. And if we open the folder, you can see we've got the individual clips. Now this is where it does something slightly weird. What it does is it puts the clip name, but then it also puts a unique identifier at the end. So we've got the clip names, we've got our test one, test two, test three, YARP, but then we've also got some numbers at the end. So the clip name isn't perfect, but it does do the job. It puts the clip name at the beginning of the name so you can still order that by name and it should be in the right order as you need it. So hopefully that does the job for you, Dave, and thank you for your question. Now let's take this one step further. Let's do some of the really useful stuff. What we're gonna do is combine some of those different wildcards. Now we're gonna do things like timeline name and project name, so it's really important that you name things correctly. Now I'm gonna keep my location as the project name because that folder has already been created, so we'll just start dropping things within there. In my timeline name, what I'm gonna do, percentage sign, I'm gonna put timeline name. But I want this to come out at different resolutions. So that what I'm also gonna do, percentage sign again, and I'm gonna put render resolution. So then I can come down here and go 4K, yes, we'll add to the render queue. Perfect. Now without doing anything else, we're just gonna to go to resolution, and we're gonna change this to 1080p. And then click add to render queue. And then if we hop over to the render queue, you can see we've got news horizontal 3840 by 2160, news horizontal 1920 by 1080. So without really having to change much at all other than the resolution, we're gonna get two different files come out at two different resolutions and they're gonna be named accordingly so I know exactly what to do with them. 
way easier than having to go in and manually change the name every time. If you didn't want to use the timeline name, you could have just come in here and put news and then the render resolution. Let's add to the render queue and you can see it's gonna say news 1920 by 1080. So you can combine them to use more than one wildcard or you can use plain text and the wildcard as well. Now in this project, I've also got a vertical timeline, which I may use for Instagram, TikTok or whatever. So I don't need to leave the deliver tab. I can just use this little drop down here. And I'm going to change it to be my news vertical Insta. Again, that's where naming your timelines makes things a whole lot easier. We'll give that a click. It's going to swap over to this vertical timeline. I'm going to leave my file name as news render resolution. The render resolution is going to pick up from the timeline, which is 1080 by 1920, which is the vertical version. So then we can just add that to the render queue as well. We've got four different versions coming out with different names, different resolutions. We can just highlight them all by clicking and dragging, render all, and it's going to render those out and put those into the project folder as we needed it to. So there you go, boom, they're all done. Let's open that folder once again. And as you can see, we've got news 1080, 1920, news 1920 by 1080, news horizontal 1080, and then news horizontal with our 4K resolution. Bish bash bosh, job done. Now you can save the file name wildcards as render presets. If you don't know anything about render presets, I've linked a video up here, it's one of my old ones, go check that out for more information. But you can't unfortunately save the location in a render preset, you do have to set that up every time, which is a bit of a shame. Hopefully Blackmagic add that in the future. But there you go, that's Timeline Wildcards. Super useful, super quick. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Any thoughts or feedback down below? Any questions, anything else you'd like to see as well? Make sure to let me know because it's Mr. Alex Tecmus. I'm gonna try and answer as many of your questions this month as I can. So thanks for watching, take it easy. I'll see you next time.